Hi, I'm Cole Gertis, and this video is about Add sliders to drawers How to add sliders to an old drawer without building a new box Warning, there are quite a few uses of the word drawer in this video This is, that's the word I'm referring to Drawer Have you ever had a drawer stick so bad that when you try to pull it open it just goes <laughs> Nah dog, and rips off your fingernail? Or how about it's just so consistently stuck that you opt to have a junk table instead of a junk drawer? <coughs> what? The drawer won't open. Our utensil drawers, yep, the ones that you use multiple times per day, were old wooden drawers that opened by sliding on wooden slats. I rubbed wax on them, I used the slick tape to try and get rid of the grip, but nothing made them easier to open. So after a couple of impromptu trips to the manicurist, I decided it was time to upgrade. I used side-mounted full extension door slides because you don't need any additional clearance with this process. If you want bottom-mounted slides, the process is going to be the same, but you do need a combined inch clearance on the top and bottom. First, I took out the drawers and all of the existing bracing. Then, I built walls that were even with the opening of the drawer fronts. This part is very important because if it's not even all the way through from the front to back, the drawers will not open properly. I built mine out of three quarter inch plywood and I installed them by drilling holes with a Craig jig and then screwing in all of the front screws to make sure it was level. Then I screwed in the back and double checked that the distance was equal between the two walls the whole way through from the front to the back. Then I did a dry fit of my box in between the walls. On my first try, it was squeezing a little bit on the back left. So all I did was I widened the wall a little bit where it was rubbing. And rubbing sun is racing. It's important to measure and remeasure your work on this because if you got old drawers, odds are you have an old house and you know that just because things are square and level on what you're working on doesn't mean that it's gonna fit properly. So just keep taking adjustments as needed. Next, I use my router to cut out the exact size of the sliders out of the sides of my box. This is because my box fit pretty squarely inside the hole in my cabinet. However, if you have some wiggle room, the important thing to remember is that the total width of your box and the sliders need to fit into the width between those walls that you built. If you have questions on that, please feel free to ask below. This is an important part of the job. For those router cuts, I set a straight router bit to the height of the slider. I needed to cut that height out all but one inch from the top and one inch from the bottom of the drawer for the slider to fit. So I set the router to have one inch of clearance from the guard and kept moving the guard until it was one inch from the other side of the box. I would suggest keeping the box intact when making these router cuts. I made the mistake of taking one of the side walls off and without the bracing of the box, the side snapped in half and I had to build a new side wall out of one by four. Then I used a wood chisel to clear any pieces the router missed and to make it smooth. After a few dry runs, I installed the slides to the box. Lastly, it was time to install the boxes into the cabinets. I used Craig's drawer slide jigs to hold the boxes in place. These are handy tools, but they're definitely not necessary. They did allow me to install the slides while they were still attached to the box instead of taking them off and making marks and then reattaching them, but that's the main time saver for this job. Once I had the boxes on the Craig jigs, I lined everything up to the drawer opening and leveled it. Then I screwed the slides into the walls in the cabinet. If you measured everything correctly, that's it. However, if you're anything like me, you'll find a couple areas where the boxes are grabbing or catching on the walls. You just need to look around and see the problem areas. It could be a warped piece of wood that your screws in the frame came loose or that your slides are not even with each other. It took me four tries and quite a few curse words to get everything perfect, but now it opens pretty darn well. And that's how you can upgrade old wooden drawers without the price tag of new cabinets or new boxes. If you like this video, please like and subscribe.